Something old is new again. America's entertainment pop culture talk show. It may well possess a rudimentary intelligence. I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Felt a great disturbance in the force. Hello, I'm Mr. Ray. Come on, Mark, like a dog for me. Meet me. Where's the goodies? Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. I bet you wouldn't have done anything like this if Mom and Dad were here. You filthy criminal. Excuse me while I whip this out. Go ahead. Make my day. Here are your hosts, Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. Welcome to Everything Old is New Again. Oh my goodness, this is the fourth week in a row. And the final week, where we are going to explore movie, mania, madness, trivia, clips, theme songs for movies. We've had a game show that we've created. This show is sweeping the country. Now we have just doubled, I think tripled, the people that are listening to the show. The word is spreading. Here I am, Douglas Viviani, with our own Bert Convoy. Convey? Convoy? What Convey. 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 <laughs> Convoy. <laughs> it's off the top of my head. I, I'm a trivia guy too. Uh, Bert Convy himself, David Cohen. Yes. How are yes, you? I'm back. The poor Why, guy. I don't know, but I'm back. The poor guy's over three. He's up against extraordinary challenges here. He has got an individual that is just got a memory like you can't believe. She doesn't forget anything. She doesn't forget anyone. She tells someone she's leaving something out at the house at 10 o'clock. She leaves it out at 10 o'clock for that person. She, she doesn't stay at the radio station beyond the time she's supposed to stay. It's never her fault. Loretta <laughs> Tavano Selmaya, LDS. Welcome back. You're hello, three you're hello. Three and oh. Am I telling the truth? Yes, you are. There was a mistake made. It's all my fault. You yes, know that, sorry, right? Gina. Gina, mm, mm, mm. now you know you snow. Right, I, I about. didn't think you'd show up again after the butt kicking I've given you the last three times, but uh, you're here. Okay. Yeah, he's gotten schlacking. This poor guy. The poor guy's really. Uh, he's hurting, right? I mean, we got to. Okay, try. listen. I'm. I am no stranger to complete abject humiliation. It's a <laughs> big part of my life. Well, what so do you think we do every time we going. What do you think we do every time we do this show? Well, listen. <laughs> here's the idea. Exactly. We are going to. Play a clip from a movie theme song. The person that's going to be presented this question is going to be tried to say who's the performer and what's the name of the movie. Then there'll be a trivia question, possibly. If there's no trivia question, the person, whether it be David or, or Loretta, can ask each other a trivia question to try to steal a point. Or tell me something personal, something interesting, funny, weird about the movie, about the experience, something that comes to, to light, and try to gather another point. This will be the last time that David Cohen will try, at least in the year 2022 to become a champion of the movie mania. Well, I can't be a champion even if I win today. I mean, she's beat me three times. This is... You could be... It's got to be best of... She would be a three-time champion. You'll be one-time champion. That's all. But I can't be... You can't... If I win, and that's a stretch. Yes. If I win... I'm not reigning champion. That's not fair. Well, if you win this one, you would be reigning champion. For the week. Yeah, for the week. And then we'll have her back for a fifth week. To win it back. No, 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 no. <laughs> there will be no fifth week. David All right, Collins. let's just say that Loretta yes. is, regardless of what happens today, is will be, continued to be, the reigning champ. And this show is all about me saving some face, at least maybe winning one out of four. Right, That's what it's about. Let's start with you then. We'll give you the benefit of the doubt, a rather simple and easy one. Well, no, because then we're going to get confused about whose turn it is. I think you got to <laughs> keep... No, because Loretta's going to get this one no sweat. I want you to try it. Here all we right. go. And in the bad times I fear myself. Why? Why? <laughs> what is this? How could you not know this? He knows this. Oh, oh, okay, now I know. Aren't you tired trying to fill that void? Yay, I know this. All right. Do you need more? David Cohen, what is the performer? One of the two at least. And what movie? Well, the performer is Lady Gaga. Yes. And the movie is A Star is Born. All right, very good. There's two points. 
How about that? Is there any trivia? There's lots of trivia you can say about Star is Born. I, I've done it it's in the past. There's a lot of trivia about this movie, you, but does anybody, it's his question. Yep, David Cohen, you have any trivia on to pass along to try to get a steal from Loretta? Of a point. He's saying no. You? Uh, no, I'm yeah. not saying no. Oh, okay, well. Did you hear me say no? No, but the silence Did on I the air. Did I utter the word no? The silence on the air is not golden. <laughs> uh, okay, now I'm saying no. <laughs> okay, Loretta, do you have a trivia question you want to present to him? A question, not the answer. Right. So, <laughs> did you see the movie, David? That's not yes. a trivia no, question. No, 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 but you, yes. I, because you, you did One see. point for me. <laughs> no, 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 so you saw the movie. Okay, so who, so uh, Jackson Maine, who is Bradley Cooper, is in a band on the, in the movie. Who's, okay, um, who's, Famous father, well, that doesn't make any sense. The guy that plays guitar in the band has a famous musician father. Do you know who that is? The guy who plays guitar it, in the band with, has a famous yeah. musician father. And this was pretty well discussed this during the press This is the person the that taught him how to play stuff. the guitar, right? Who's right. the father? Well, no, right. The famous musician? The person taught Cooper how to play the well, guitar. Well, the father didn't. The no, son did. Yeah, this person. Right. I know. Can I say no. it? Willie Nelson. I don't know. Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. Can I say? Can I ask another question? Oh, I'm not going to get a point. He can't. I'm not going to get a point then. You get the point. Of course, you get the point. Right. Yeah. Okay. So when when the movie opens and they're at an outdoor concert, do you know really where they were? No. Glastonbury, in the UK. Uh -huh. It's like a big outdoor concert. Good for you. All right, just that's I know everything about the movie because I'm a big yeah, that's great, Loretta. Bradley that's Charles good, Cooper good fan. You know how do we? How do you dig back and how do you get people to turn their radio back on after hearing that? I don't know what to do. Sorry. Okay, so let's... no, it's some more. <laughs> it, ask me some more about the movie, Loretta. Why not? I know, <laughs> I know, right every, I know everything about it. Oh, you do? Yeah. All right, not that movie, but but the one in 1970. Who was supposed to play the Chris Christopherson part? It's somebody obvious, right? They offered him the contract. Three, two, one, Elvis Presley. Okay, on to... Can, can Wait, I, did he I... turn... Elvis turned it down? The Colonel I knew that. Loretta, that was in the Elvis movie. Yeah, the Colonel can, turned it down. Can I say something about yes. the new movie? Of which, I mean, this Elvis? is not... Yeah, no, uh, Star is Born, but this is not for a point. This okay. is just a factoid. Yes. Um, since Bradley was kind of doing the whole movie himself, writing, producing, saying blah, blah, blah. The dog in the movie is his, his real, dog. real dog, yes, Charlie. How about that? His real dog. Charlie. His real dog. One point for and, me. And <laughs> in the scene with the um, hearing aid doctor, that was really his doctor in real life. Hearing aid? I don't... When what? he had a hearing... What? He was losing his I... hearing in right. the movie. Right. That's David really Cohen, doctor. this is for you, my man. Well, Loretta, you couldn't just let me have the two points, huh? You had to, you had to come up with the trivia. What's the movie? Wait, what is this my question? This is yours. Because every time he pulls me near, I just want to change this here for the boy. I don't know, man. I, this was from a movie? I thought it was just a song. Loretta's going to steal it. Loretta, who is it from? I think Footloose. It is. Do you know the performer? I need a second. Yes. Oh, man. Is she Googling something? No. no I can't not. see her. No Google for me. <laughs> oh, I'm drawing a blank. I know exactly who it is. Okay. Can't think. I, her name is David Cohen. You know the performer. Is it Madonna? No. No, you can't give me a hint, right? No. no. Okay. I don't know it off the top of my head. I didn't look that okay. one up. Okay. All right, we'll be back. We're going to look at the uh, continue. No, we're going to do one more. L Loretta, you ready for this one? Yeah. This is yours. What movie? Two two score right now. Stop. He loves his music. I wanted to play this one for him, but but you'd know this one, Loretta. Notes. Anybody? Hands up. Say no, say no almost fire? Yes, it is. How about that? Name me one star of that movie. Demi Moore. Okay, I'll give it to you. David Cohen, you want to steal a point? Give me a, one, somebody else that started that movie. Uh, Judd Nelson? I think you're right. Was I know Rob Lowe is in it. Judd Nelson was in it as well. You're in. Was All he? Right. It's a 4-3 game. We're going to continue. i got one more. we got one minute. Here we go. Am I right about Judd Nelson? Yes. You ready? Okay. Loretta, here we go. You uh, ready? Is this me? This is you. Oh, 
die Cause I was afraid to speak when I was just a lad My father gave me nails a tweet and told me I was bad But then one day I learned a word to say We ain't a nose The, the biggest word you ever heard And this is your way to What's the word? It Super califragilistic expialidocious. Nice, that's Mary extra. Pop, Mary <laughs> Poppins, Dick Van Dyke. How about that? David soundtrack. Cohen, you are just, you're just like, you're dead in the water right there. That's it. He would have gotten that so one. Sad. It's so sad to see him go down in flames like this. All right, that we'll be back. <laughs> this and everything old. Do again. All good, clean. <laughs> I was afraid to speak when I was just a lad. My father gave me nails a tweet and told me I was bad. But then one day I learned a word to say we ain't a no. The biggest word you ever heard and this is how we go. This is Everything Old is New Again, America's entertainment pop culture talk show with Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. Welcome back to Everything Old is New Again. We are continuing this extravaganza of movie mania madness. David Cohen is uh, challenging and uh, has been uh, lapped, if you will, by the one, the only, the trivia queen herself, the super fan, Loretta de Bono Selmayer, LDS, as we call her in the parlance. Of everything old is new again. She's the super fan. Listen, Loretta, tell me a little something. What brings you here today? In other words, why do you even bother listening to everything old is new again? What's that all about? Because it's incredibly interesting. Mm. I always learn wow. something new. And you, I think you guys have a great rapport and you're very entertaining. How about that? That's Thank a good you, commercial. Loretta. Thank you, Loretta. I'm mean glad I asked. Sincerely. Thank you. Well, that's from the, the young lady that. Uh, that tries to listen to us over the vacuum, which must be very loud, uh, as you are cleaning the house. And we're, it's actually a great idea. The radio is great for lots of stuff, weeding or yard work. Or, it's not right? just clean anything. Like yeah. I just have it on in the background. Well, everything. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. All right. We, we just finished off a little bit here on we were, we're continuing this challenge here, this, this trivia movie trivia uh, contest. And we were speaking of Carl Gottlieb. Um, I have to just say that he told us a little bit of trivia. I'll throw this here at you. You know when Roy Schreider is is sort of, um, well, when he he goes on the boat and he looks at it and then, you know, they they see at some point he says the line, you're going to need a bigger boat. It was not scripted. Carl Gottlieb did not write that. It was ad-libbed by Roy Schreider. Roy Schreider. 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 Yeah, Yeah. wow. I love that kind of stuff. Right? What was the, the – there were three fake sharks that they used. Anybody know with the name of – that they named – Spielberg named the shark? Bruce. Yes. Bruce, and, yeah. And in – was it later on? Was it Nemo where there was a shark? Later on they called it Bruce and they, they – uh oh, It was cute. a kickback yeah. to, to that. Oh, right. A little bit yeah. of honor. Now, Robert Shaw and Richard Dreyfus could not stand each other. They Is that argued, right? Yes, they argued all the time, which resulted in some good tension between the two of them on the screen, so the director, Spielberg, did not stop them from fighting. Wow. Cool. <laughs> That's kind of cool stuff, that is right? cool, yeah. All right, there you go. You learn a little something. Now, we're back to it. David Cohen, you have 14 points. Loretta, you have 19. We're close. <laughs> we're close. Who had the last no. question? I believe it was David Cohen. Right, it was... I I gave him the easy one. Loretta, this is a hard one. Let's see if you can get us. The name of the movie. I don't think you're going to get the performer. If you can, feel free. Any ideas? Yep. Okay, we'll stop it then. What do you got? Chef. Nice. <clears throat> and I know the guy's name. I can't, I can't, I mean, I know the performer. I just can't think of it. David Cohen, do you know who it was? I believe it's Isaac Hayes. It is. Nicely done. Okay, I don't have any Chef. trivia for that. Dang. Anybody have Chef anything? Chef from uh, South Park. 
There you go. Anybody have any uh, trivia? That was a trivia you could have used, David Cohen. Any trivia to present or we move on? Wait. What would you say? Um. Yes. Mm, yes. No. Making some I good don't. radio. I, I guess I should have used that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. Loretta, you have one? It was a joke between Kathy Moran and myself. Okay. I don't know why we liked this song, what we did. All right. This is a little fractal. Someone that I know, a uh, mutual friend of ours, um, but I can't give a point for that. No. But we will continue. What was Shaft's first name? Mr. Richard? I believe it was John. Oh. Can you look that up? It is John. You're right. Give him the point. Point. All right. It's Kid, up. It's good. It. Got 16. There's still uh, four down. David Cohen, easy. Mama, man. He knows this. Yeah, I know the movie, but I couldn't tell you who the artist is. Are you kidding? All right. Tell us the movie. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I know who the artist is. Okay, okay. go ahead. The movie's Halloween. Yes. I mean, it's, it's the only guy I know. John Williams? No, it's not. It's a John, though. Loretta, you can steal it. The author of that song. Wow, it's a great trivia question. Would I know it? Like, would I know his name? When you hear the yeah. person, you'll know the person's name for sure, John and the person's mm -hmm. already associated with Halloween for another reason. John mm. Carpenter? Yes, it is. I, oh, <laughs> wow, that was out of the back of my brain, by the way. I was going to say John Carpenter, but wow. then I didn't That's you just in the, the back John of Williams my brain. thing in my brain. Haven't heard that name in years. Let's see how my brain is nice, not working. Right? That is so not fair. All right, whose question was this? This is yours, David Me Cohen. being an idiot is not fair. You have to get this one right. We've talked about this. Who? Who's uh, this, this for? This is for you, David Cohen. You okay. ready? Trivia. Yeah. Yeah. The Mask that uh, Michael Myers wears. William Shatner. There you go. It's a William Shatner mask. Did you know that, Loretta? She's, she's no. giving me Yeah, well, don't look at me like that. Just give me a look. What, what, so I get the look? <laughs> what, Did I post what, 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 a uh, William Shatner what, mask? It's, it's a William Shatner Halloween mask. And they used it. They went to this, where they were trying to find a mask. They had another mask, and it, it, it fell apart. So they went to a local, like, I'm going to say Toys R Us or whatever yeah, kind yeah. of a store, and they pulled. They went to the aisle uh, for the oh. costumes, and they go, oh, let's use this one. And they pulled out the rubber William, William Shatner oh. mask. From, so they kept we the, went through hundreds, supposed thousands to be. of masks. <laughs> Do we have the right one? <laughs> Try this mask. Oh, I'm not. It's, and, and let's be clear, it's supposed to be Captain Kirk. Right. That movie scared the living daylights out of me. Star Trek. Oh, oh. Yo, that Doug, was. I saw yeah. it with you. We saw it together, yes. I you was so afraid. We were like 10, yes. right? That was amazing. There's a part of that movie scary. where they're, where the kids watching. It's uh -uh. one of two movies that were played, two old movies that are on the TV the night mm -hmm. of this event, but kind of in the beginning. What? When they're making the pumpkins and all that. Can you night name of the Living Dead? E nope. Good, ge Psycho? good guess. Nope. N either of the two movies. John Carpenter later the went blob. on to do something with one of those. Nope. The Blob. Nope. The Fog. Godzilla. I don't know. No. Uh, uh, Forbidden Planet. Oh. And then later, they did The Thing. You saw The Thing. The Thing. And he later did the remake of The Thing, which was a of great movie afterwards. John Carpenter. Oh, wow. Little trivia. Nice. Okay. Scary movie. Halloween was... Yes. Scary. David Cohen. Yeah, that was one of the... Oh. Like yeah, I was. And on Friday the Thirteenth scared the yeah. daylights out of me. Oh, but this was this was it though. This was the mainstay. Now, David Cohen, you still with you? Trivia. Think of the sound show we did, the sound effect show, the stabbing sound that you hear when he's stabbing people in this movie is what in reality? Hmm. Watermelon? Yes, it is. Hoo -hoo -hoo. He gets that right. Nicely done. I have one more. We are now at 21 to 19. It's very Come on. close. No, we aren't. What do you mean we are? What do you, what? So I'm, I'm losing I'm now. I'm within striking distance? You're in striking distance. Am I distance. winning? You're winning, oh, but good. only right. by one. Uh, by two, I mean. We're getting there. All right. I'm, I'm ready to go. I don't know if everybody else is yep. ready. You sure? sure? You sure? Yes. You really want to hear this now? I want to know who's the next person. Me. Loretta, this is for you. The artist and the movie. <laughs> 
girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white winters that melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. All right, Loretta, let's hear it. One of my favorite movies, The Sound of Music, Julie Andrews. Wow, nicely oh, done. I love nicely that movie. done. I do I I have trivia, but it's later on. Uh, related to this movie and, to, and so forth. So just remember Nazis. that. Nazis. No, well, no. Uh, David Cohn, do you have any trivia yourself for this particular movie, or do we move on? Let's move on. All right. You're down by four right now. Are you ready to, you know, give it your best? Yeah. Sure. You are. Okay. This yeah. is an easy one. I'm giving you all the easy ones. Oh, you're going to kick yourself if you don't get this one. Oh, my goodness. He's giving us a face. You know this movie. We've talked about this movie many times. Mm -hmm. David Cohen. Jurassic Park? Of yes. course it is. Oh, and now, okay, good, good. Who good. is the, I'll just say, performer? Um, The performer... It was Prince. I don't know. The all-purpose clue. Who is it? That's John it. Williams. Yes! yes. <laughs> oh, you don't sound excited when you get it. That should be like, oh, my God. Yes, I got it. He's just sitting there. He's hungry. Like I Poor said, because hungry. it's, it's you know, it's a losing proposition for me. You're rolling down by two. You're, where's my phone? Oh, yeah. You're rolling down by two. How about a trivia question? Uh, I, uh, uh, for that subject, I don't have a trivia question Jeff for Goldblum. you. Jeff Goldblum. All right. You got it. One more point. <laughs> we'll be back right at this and everything old. Do again. <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> that better be mine. <laughs> Movie madness right here. Everything old. Do again. These days, the news is full of teen suicide, drug and alcohol abuse, bullying, violence, and crime. It's depressing and concerning, but there is hope. Former WWE Intercontinental Champion Mark Merrow of the Champion of Choices program. Please tell us about Champion of Choices. Champion of Choices is a live presentation that empowers students to make positive choices and live their best lives. It teaches students that they can write their own future by setting goals and pursuing their passions. Through this presentation, I teach students how to live a drug-free life, prevent bullying, avoid peer pressure, and keep negative people out of their lives. We are defined by our choices. There is hope. To schedule a Champion of Choices presentation for your school or organization, call 407-862-4800. That's 407-862-4800. Or visit thinkpaws.org. That's thinkpaws, P-O-Z, dot org. You're listening to Everything Old is New Again, America's entertainment pop culture talk show with Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. We are back here on the show of shows. This is the break. We're going to take a little break here. We're going to peel the onion and take a look inside. Everything Old is New Again. And the last week, this is now the fourth show and the final show of Movie Mania Madness. And we are here with Loretta Selmayer de Bono. David Cohn is taking a break. He's going to see studying a little bit for the last segment. He's, he's off on Google and he's playing a little, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> so, so he's trying to catch up because he's behind, as we know. So he's kind of cramming, cram course, if you will, before the final. So we're going to take a little break here. I'm going to peel the oven on you and take a look behind the scenes of Everything Old is New Again with Loretta. First question is, many in the audience will probably ask and, and inquire, and they've heard you a few times before, but where did Loretta de Bono Selmayer, where did LDS, where did she come from? Why is she on the show? What's it all about? So, um, just as an aside, of course, we know David Cohen and myself went to high school together in the uh, late 1970s. And um, I, I hate to use the, the dates and all that, but Loretta graduated with us from Half Hollow Hills High School East. So the question is, Loretta, first and foremost, um, I guess we should say it's pretty obvious, but let's lay it out, is that through these years, you and I and David have been in touch through all these low 40 years since we graduated, have we not? We have. Yes, we have. And and um, for some people, like, I don't know, some people I find with my kids and 
I don't know. Some people's high school experience was wonderful. Some people was not wonderful. And some people don't want to, I guess, in some ways, keep in touch. What makes you, uh, you know, on some level, uh, have the desire to keep in touch at the very least, and I know it's more than this, with David Cohen and myself from high school? Well, I definitely think we had a very unique experience in high school. When I speak to other people and they hear that we have 10, 20, 30, 40th reunions and that everyone keeps in touch and everyone is friendly. And we had a great high school experience with memories. So it sounds corny and cliche, but to memories, you know, memories that last a lifetime, we had a great group of classmates We went to a great school spirit. You know, we didn't have the distractions that kids have today. And I see it with my own son who just graduated high school and we are in the same district. It's not the same as when we were there. We just had fun wherever, whatever we did, we had fun. Everyone was involved for the most part. And there was a lot of spirit and we just had a blast. And, you know, they they talk about, uh, how do you say this? Uh, There's bullying and stuff that happens, I'm sure, in schools. There's these cliques and groups that people do or do not get along. Um, and, and that that's, I think, and on some levels, the social aspect of high school, let's call it, um, gets in the way of people's enjoyment. And I didn't, I didn't see that. Maybe you did. I don't know. And, and, and I'm sure it happened maybe behind the scenes. But I didn't see it in the four years or three years that we were in high school together. Um, you know, it seemed like a group that was open minded to others and other ideas. And we didn't uh, judge all that very much. We had different groups. We've heard that through the stories, right, that I've told from the, the beach mm-hmm. stories and, you know, the various stories. We have different groups of people, but they didn't, uh, I, I guess, I guess pie in the sky, but they sort of respected each other, even at a distance if you had to, like the theater people versus the uh, jocks. I don't think they really kind of picked on each other. We got together at parties and and sort of got along. Or is that, is that, I don't know. I'm just, that's my memory. I I think girls were, are worse with that. Mm. Even in in junior high, because I moved in in ninth grade, it wasn't easy for me. I was the new girl kind of a thing. And it was the girls who were mean. And then high school, I loved high school. I never had that issue really, but I know other people who did. Like there was a cool kind of tough click of girls that had things to say about other people. But how did you break through that then? Or did you? Did it just disappear oh, by itself? My, personally, my ninth to 10th grade, I call it my Marsha Brady transformation. <laughs> I, I I moved in and I had, you know, the long blonde hair, the retainer and the octagon Jan Brady glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and I just was the easy target in the cafeteria for two particular girls who I will not mention their names. And... Um, you know, they would pick on me in class. Like if I, I remember I was, in, I'll never forget. I was in biology in eighth, ninth grade, Mr. Leeds class. And I had to go up in the front and, you know, give some kind of product, you know, talk about a project or something. And the teacher said, does anyone have any questions? And this one particular girl said, yeah, I have a question. What color is your hair? You got so many different colors of hair there. You, what color is your hair? <laughs> I, you know what I look, I have blonde hair, right? right? So, and I remember the teacher saying, okay, so-and-so, quiet down. And a very cool kid in the class, a guy who was the most popular kid, told her to be quiet and leave me alone. So I always thought that was so great. So over the summer from ninth to 10th, I got contacts. And I don't know, I guess I just went into school with a different attitude. I don't know. I really don't know what it was. I had a transformation. I became a cheerleader. Like I joined all this stuff. And don't forget, our school split all the different junior highs. So we met different people. So it was those mean girls actually went to the other high school. Interesting. So, okay. so I was, you know, I had the Eileen, Valerie, you know, the girls that I mm-hmm. knew, they came along with us to our high school. And it was a great group of people that I became friends with. But you persevered. Yeah. Your bottom line is you went through, you kept on yeah. going, you kept doing what you can do. And uh, and and you found individuals that were helpful. I, I had a story where I was in um, seventh grade and I liked a particular girl and I was always trying to, you know, talk to her. We were in a biology class. We were doing the, the frogs where they would, uh, you know, you dissect, dissect the frogs and this and that. At some point in time, it may have been, at some point in time, it, it was falling on my humor, if you will, was falling on deaf ears and she turned to me and she said here's a nickel buy yourself a personality and so it did now that i think about it it did happen but but i learned a lesson from that 
where I, I was trying to be somebody else with the jokes or whatever I was trying to do with this young girl, young lady. And, and I was not myself. So from that point on, I said, well, being this other guy who I was trying to be the, the popular guy and, you know, in my mind is not working. Why don't I just be myself? And from that point, it was the greatest lesson there was just be yourself. And then all of a sudden it started to click for me. If that makes any sense, is that, yes. is that so, so, if, if, you know, in, in some level that that's, um, my little, uh, you know, or our little diatribe on high school and getting through because it is relevant because there are lots of people here that have kids that are listening and, and, you know, you've just got to persevere and be yourself, I guess, and, and, you know, persevere on your side, be yourself. You find your time. tribe, right. And you find right. the people that are like you and that's little, what happens. For a little support. Right. Now, yeah. finally, we've had on the show, Dan uh, Newberger, we've had Rich Richter, we've had Chris Galvin, we've had, of course, David Cohen and, and, and others, I've, off the top of my head, I can't remember, that are from our high school class and and they've all come on and had terrific experiences at, at least as far as my perception is i think they've been great shows and a lot of fun so um what's it like when you turn on the radio and you hear these characters from from high school come back and say hello oh i love it i think it's great i mean i know all of them they're great guys and again we have a great resource of stories and fun experiences that we had. I personally think it translates to even a stranger listening to it. You know what I mean? Because right. it was fun party. You know, we had all those silly parties, homecoming, and it was like a movie sometimes, you know? Right. And then well, David says the, the show's morphed a little bit on this past year, year and a half, where once in a while, every three or four shows, I'll tell a story now. Uh, and some of them are from high school. Do any of them ring a bell or at least um, do they resonate in any way like for well i know you didn't go to the right. beach at one time but other you know, stories you know you know who the young lady is for example right is right. our young lady right the stories of let's say going to the you know the tiffany's might be the, what's that tiffany's right to exactly tiffany's. going to tiffany's you know the you you know the background you may not have been there for that particular event but you know for, on some level uh the halloween party in valerie's basement well i was there yeah Right. So, so you, you know that I just want to lend some authenticity to some of these stories because people think they're not, you know, real. Of course, it's stories you want to amplify and you, 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 you tell it a certain way, but the basic core of these stories are true. No, that absolutely. You, you I mean, that Halloween party, and I always think about it, it was so simple. It was in someone's, you know, basement, but it was so much fun. We all dressed up and, you know, unlike the kids today where they're always taking a million pictures, I did take pictures that night, a few pictures, but the fun was just being there. And the ridiculousness of your story with the invisible ink <laughs> is just insane. And, you know, that's that party had so many different stories. You know, you may not even know some of them. I don't even know all of them. But um, because do you remember what I dressed up as? You, I don't remember unless it was Little Bo Peep, but I do not remember. No. My then boyfriend and I switched roles. He was the cheerleader. Oh, you're the football, the football player. player. Yes. That was great. We had so much fun. Yes. And that was an easy costume, and we just had a ball. Did you ever talk about the toga party? Not yet. It's it's upcoming. Too. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> There's a lot of stories and a lot of time, good, good, clean fun that we had. And and I'm I'm happy that you're, uh, of course, in my life, that's easy to say, but I want to make that clear. But besides that, um, to, to be able to have you come on the show, you've been on when we've been in the Nassau Coliseum. We did a game show then. We did a game show from the original, you know, location where we used to tape the show. And, and I'm looking forward to having you back. For sure. We're out of time in this segment, but thank you, Loretta. We're going to come back and you're going to beat the pants off David Cohen, I think. I can't wait to do it. All right. <laughs> thank you, Douglas. All right. We'll be back right after this and everything old is new again. See what happens with movie. What are we calling it again? Movie. Movie. Mania Madness. Movie Mania Madness. <laughs> Uh, welcome back to Everything Old New Again. We're doing a last section last week, I should say, of movie mania madness with young David Cohen and his challenger, the champion herself, Loretta, the Bono Selmire, super fan of Everything Old is New Again. The score right now is 7-3. to three. Loretta is in charge. Handily, you're going to tell me the movie and the performer. Dave.
David Cohen, where are we on this? The movie is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Beautiful. And who is the performer, if you will? <laughs> you know what? You know the name I'm going to give you. The all-purpose clue, is it? John Williams? It sure is. He's there amazing. We go. He's in all of these. I wonder how many he's written. He, we did a show every, on that. Every actually. one of them. That's amazing. Yes, he's done all so of them. many. They're yes. unbelievable. All right. David Cohen, do you have any trivia related to this or this show related to that movie? You've got to. You've got to. Think back. Think hard. There was... I hope this is right. It is right. I, I don't even know if it's right. It's correct. Okay. okay. So, Loretta, there was a, a co-star in that movie who was on Everything Old is New Again as a guest. Do you know who that was? No, I do not. Oh. I probably know. Hi, this is too Karen bad. Allen. You're listening to Everything oh, Old is Karen New Again. Karen Allen. With Douglas yeah. Viviani and David Cohen. Sorry. Hi, this is Karen Allen. Hi, this is Karen okay. Allen. Hi, this is Karen <laughs> Allen. Hi, this is Karen Allen. <laughs> and I listen to that, and I'm sorry. I always mix uh, her up with someone else. How much do we love that Karen Allen was on this show? I mean, was she that was great. unbelievable? That was great. It was a great she interview. Was, oh, thank you. And she was terrific. She was a lot of fun. And she 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 poured her coffee right before the show. Right Remember, you heard it. You heard her making it. <laughs> it, it was, was so fun. It, it was like a commercial. It was li literally like a commercial yeah. coffee. You could hear it. It was so fun. All right, so we're good. So the score is right now seven. So I asked a trivia question, and Loretta didn't get it. That's rare. Yeah, so you got it. Do not jump to conclusions with this. Be careful. With this the, is for Loretta now, right? For Loretta, for the name of the movie, you're not going to get who performed. Oh, you might get the name of the movie and the artist. Don't jump on it. Think about it. Okay, Loretta, sounds Rocky easy. Three? No, but I'm glad you didn't say Rocky one. No, I knew the difference. Okay, but is it that's Bill not... Conti is the Bill Conti is the guy. Yes. David Cohen, back to it. Which Rocky was that from? It wasn't one, it wasn't three. I'll go with two. It's yeah, two, shoot, correct. I was gonna say two. Let's dig into some little more trivia here. Let's see what's going on. We want to see if we can get a victory for David Cohen, but it's impossible. She is up against <laughs> extraordinary challenges right here. Extraordinary. Loretta, this is yours? Nope. This is David Cohen's. An easy one. Let's hope. At least for the movie. Let's see what he does. Oh, gosh. Can you get it from that? I'll give you an extra point if you can. Just Mission from that. Impossible. There you go. Two points for Cohen. He just went yes. ahead by one. I don't have any trivia. I don't have anything else for that, so let's move on to the next one. Are we ready? Now it's me. It is, it is you. Maybe I have a trivia question. Okay, yes, go ahead. That's a very good point. Let's hear it. Nah, she'll get it. <laughs> Move on. Really? All yep. right. This is for this is for Loretta. No, I'm going to give David another one because that was a short one. Remember? Why? Oh, because there's no. Trivia, there was only no extra, one. Nothing. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Set. Every good, very good. Getting him some. Not happy. fair. To Loretta. All that right. really wasn't fair, but anyway. That's okay. No, life is not fair. Now, listen, you want to hear how life is not fair? Does Can I just say something? Yes. So so the the previous question for me was just a one-answer yes, thing. Correct. Okay. So I think this should be a one-answer thing. Yes, I'm going to give it. Okay. For, for, the two, for, the, um, for the name of the movie and the artist, I should get one point. Okay, you got 10 instead of 11. Here we go. Okay. Dustin Hoffman has already set to play a role in Mel Brooks, the producers in 1967, when the opportunity came around to audition for this movie, which is The Graduate, he went to Brooks and asked permission to audition. By the way, Mel Brooks' wife, Ann Bancroft, is Mrs. Robinson, right? She was already set to play it. Brooks said, yeah, go ahead, try it. You'll never get the, in his mind, he never said it out loud, but he gave him permission because he said in his mind, and later on he admitted, he'll never get the part. Got the wow. part and, and rocketed to okay. fame. I have a trivia question about this movie. Good. No. Here we go. Who got the part initially and turned it down? I know I have He heard wrote this. many years, he wrote a book about his career. And it, I'll, I'll give you a hint. Was he It was else? a very funny book. Um, and the name of the book was It Would Be So Nice If You Weren't Here. He had I his own I've talk show for a while. He was on. He was a frequent guest of Johnny Carson, famous actor. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest regrets of his life was not taking that role. 
Who was the it? The answer is Charles Grodin. Oh, wow. I can't, but I couldn't see he's a, him He's in. an obscure guy unto itself, so that's a good question. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's sad. Wow. It would have made his career a whole different thing. Or would, he, would the movie have been successful? I mean, how would he have done? I think so. You think he would have done well? Yeah. yeah. He's, I mean, he was a good-looking guy. He was. You remember, yeah. this was like, right. he was young. Yeah. And he was a great actor, I think. Yeah, yeah. And he was that's funny. Yep. Yeah. All right. When, within a year of the movie's release, something that was manufactured became enormously successful. And they credit this movie for that. Something that's manufactured that's sold. Pantyhose? Nope. Oh. Is it, it's guess. a product? Yes. Oh. Or it's not a product. It's it's something, some kind of manufacturing process. Oh, 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 uh, plastics. There you go. Oh. It's back to 11 because, of course, we know that plastics was suggested that he go into <laughs> by that, that was, in the movie. That was great. All right. We're down to the last question, I think, right now. And we're one, we're two, po three points away, Loretta. This is for you. You can steal this game right here. Can you? Do you think you have it? You think Wait, I'm winning? You're winning. Well, you got everything hand fed to you. Interesting. Here we go. Very okay. interesting. There's two. Loretta, I'm going to give you two in a row. Here's one. What do you think, Loretta? You have I know an the movie. It was with Tom Hanks. Yes. That thing you do, and the group is like the the, the somethings. Mm -hmm. the... They are. That's correct. Poor thing. Ooh. No, I can't. I, it's going to kill me because I know it. David, uh, what is it? I don't know the name of the group. How about the movie? Oh, that thing you do. You said, though. You got yeah, the movie. But the, yeah, she got the movie. The, movie. But, but the, name, the Wonders. The Wonders. I know. I'm going to give you another one, Loretta. You are now two points down. We've got a couple of minutes. You ready? Here's another one. This could be hard. Tell me the movie. And the performer. And just like uh. the guy whose feet are too big for his bed, nothing seems to fit. Those raindrops are falling on my head. They keep falling. Okay. I know this, but I can't think of it. I know he's B.J. Thomas. Yes. Wow. That's a that's a great. Well, what's what's uh. the movie? Hmm. Not gonna get it. I know it. I oh, know. you poor you thing. You know I know oh, this. Oh gosh. David Cohen knows. Oh, I think he's got it in his hand. What? David, do you know it? No. All right. The score is ten eleven. You have. We have a couple of minutes. A couple what of does ten eleven mean? You're, you're eleven, David Cohen. Loretta is ten. This point. This question is worth one point. Are you ready? I'm just going to ask the question. Julie Andrews came up previously. Who is her husband? He wrote Victor Mr. Victoria. Andrews. What? Oh my God! He wrote Victor Victoria when he yes, directed it. Yes, hands up. Whoever can get it. Don't know. Edwards, Blake Edwards. Blake Edwards for a point with tie game. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa. Nice. <laughs> hands up. Who gets it, Loretta? Pink Panther, Henry Pink. Mancini. Wait, no. Oh wait, what was going on? <laughs> You're not paying attention. I'll give you another one. Right. I wasn't paying. Well, you got to. What happened? Attention. Okay, that was Pink I'll Panther. I'll go back. By that Henry was Mancini. Pink Panther. I was going to give her the, the award, but that's okay because you weren't paying attention. But that's okay. What, what, it was like a jump ball or something. Yes, this is a jump ball. Oh, you, you I'm ready? sorry. So just scream it out or this raise hands. A, raise your hand. First hand I see on this one. You ready? Okay. Yep. Anybody, anybody, no? I'll give you another one if you can't get it. Let's give it a couple of seconds. No, no one's getting it. No hands up. All right, here's another what one. What was it? That was Goonies. Oh, I went. Here we go. <laughs> Loretta. Breakfast Club. Oh, the victory is is right there in her hands. Loretta wins again. Four uh, and oh. What a comeback. Movie mania madness. What Loretta Tomato wins all four <laughs> games. Holy smokes, Loretta. What do you have to say for yourself? Shocked. Did not think I would win against David Cohen. I'm feeling very proud of myself right now. And David, thank you. You're a great competitor. David, what do you Loretta, have to say? Loretta, this was, uh, you, you were amazing. I didn't stand a chance. Even when I had a lead, you came back and you pulled it out. Very impressive. Very impressive. It was a lot of fun. And Douglas, you did a lot of work to prepare for this, for these shows. So 
Good yeah, luck. Doug, Thank man, you, you got to get a life. You put way too much work into this. <laughs> <laughs> no one says anything about the hosting of, of the game, but okay, I'll, I'll take it. Yes, great. Um, a great host. You were you a good mediator. Score, we think accurately. I'm just, yes. <laughs> I didn't choose And, too uh, <laughs> you know, we'll give you the benefit of that doubt. But, yes, it's, perfect. It's, it's perfect score fun. for Doug. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Four weeks of th thrills, fun, and adventure. Next week, we can continue more fun uh, with uh, entertainment, pop culture, and everything old is new again. Thank you, Loretta. We'll See you again soon. Super Thank fan you. Loretta DeBono Selmeyer. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.